Hey everybody, this is the fourth here, and welcome to a sound explained stereo, where I will be explaining to you a little bit more about how stereo sound works. A stereo sound system consists of two separate speaker units, one left and one right. Each of these speakers receives its own completely unique signal, and it is this uniqueness that creates our stereo sound. In the previous Sound Explained video, I talked about how sound exists as a waveform. But stereo sounds actually exist as two waveforms. One for the left channel, and one for the right channel. And these left and right channels correlate to the left and right speakers of a stereo sound system, and produce the signal that is sent through the associated speaker. So how do these channels relate to what we hear? Well, let's see what happens when we play a mono waveform in stereo. You will see that it has the two separate channels, but there's still no stereo depth to it. And this is because for things to sound stereo, or to have some stereo depth, there has to be a difference between the waveform of the left channel and the waveform of the right. The more different these waveforms are, the more stereo your sound will be or the wider the stereo image will be. With our current example, you can see that the waveforms are exactly the same for each channel. You can see as I bring these together that they will indeed be the same waveform, and they will overlap perfectly. And this is why the sound still sounds mono. You know, the same waveform is coming through both speakers. And this is the same reason that duplicating a sound and panning them opposite with no other changes won't create a stereo sound. You can hear that even though I've duplicated the sound, panned one left and panned one right, it still sounds mono, and that's because it's the same waveform coming through both speakers. There are several ways that the left and right channel can differ, and these are amplitude, And if the only difference is amplitude, that relates to just panning, as you could hear. They can also differ by frequency. And if there's a small frequency difference between the same waveform, and the only difference between the waveform is frequency, it will likely be referred to as detune. If there's a large frequency difference, it will just sound like two different sounds playing in opposite speakers. And then the last way that they can differ is in timing or phase. If you're using a single cycle waveform, it will be phase. And if you're using anything that isn't a single cycle waveform, it will be timing. So you can hear that right here. These three are fundamentals, and if you've watched all of part one, you might recognize them as the parameters displayed by the spectrum analyzers. So while working on your song, you may do many different things to create a nice stereo image, all of which will result in the left and right channels of the final output to differ complexly by a combination of amplitude, frequency, and timing. So for example, two completely different sounds panned opposite each other will result in different frequencies occurring with different amplitudes at different times in the left and right channel. And that's pretty much all there is to the technical side of stereo sound. However, due to the way we perceive things, stereo sound creates an illusion of space. Where some things may sound close in front of us, some things may sound further away and to the right, and so on. This phenomenon works much like how we will see faces in rocks or objects in clouds. We are simply programmed to associate sound with space. In other sections of this part of the tutorial, I will go into more detail about how to create and utilize this perceived space.